Hi everybody, thanks for watching my very first haul video. This haul video will encompass things that I got this week from Amazon.com, which I usually have to order from because it takes me 40 minutes one way to get to any sort of uh, craft place or Marshalls or Joann's, TJ Maxx, Walmart. Everything is half an hour to 40 minutes away one way. The other place that I get a lot of things from, that I'm going to show you some things, is from Wish. Wish.com. I don't see a lot of things being shown on haul videos from Wish, which sort of surprises me. I buy uh, arts and crafts things from Wish. And that's Sammy in the background, our cat. He talks a lot. <laughs> you'll, probably, you'll probably hear him off and on in any other video I do, too. And from Wish... If it's something that you want to get right away, I would not recommend Wish. Uh, if it's something that you don't mind waiting for, or you want to take a gamble on when it's going to arrive, then I would definitely go ahead and get things from Wish. The great thing is, most of the stuff on Wish is a dollar or two, and the shipping's a dollar or two. So right now my husband and I have become addicted to Wish and are ordering things and we usually have one package a day showing up. So it, it's a lot of fun that way. It's like having a treat in the mail every day instead of having to deal with a bill every day, which we've all been there. So this week what I got, well, I got two things. The first thing I want to show you that I got are these stamps and I think they're adorable little dandelions with uh, these little pixies or fairies or elves or whatever you would like to call them and there's some grass and I love their little hair or their little hats I'm not sure exactly what they are but they're just adorable and I ordered this probably two weeks ago and it came today it cost two dollars and the shipping was a dollar so three dollars and what's nice about these are these are Every bit as good as the stamps that I have been getting from any of the major stamp vendors like Simon Says Stamps or Butterfly Reflections, any of those places that you can order stamps from, you know, various companies. And what I liked about these stamps is they're cheap, is one thing, um, or I should say they're inexpensive. They're not, they're not cheaply made. And I did a little bit of research and was poking around on that site. And a lot of these stamps are actually the same stamps that are sold on the uh, other bigger sites like Simon Says Stamps or Butterfly Reflections. So you can find bow bunnies and um, inka dinka doos and things like that on, on Wish.com. I've never bought anything but crap things on Wish.com and I don't know that I would ever recommend you buy anything but craft things because I've heard some of the other things were not uh, very good quality but I, I can't say that is a hundred percent sure uh, because I've only ordered the <laughs> craft things so anyway it's it's worth it it's worth the gamble as long as it's not time sensitive like I said so I had this uh, that was a dollar I got that t today I was really happy with that I think it's adorable the other thing I got they sell an awful lot of dyes. Now this dye was $2. And every dye I've gotten from there cuts really well. And they usually run between 12, between one, two, to six dollars. I have never seen any that were much higher than that. There might be a few that were brand name ones, but I'll tell you what, they all cut nice. I have a big shot and they work great in that. It's got the nice stitching, different shapes for the hills. I bought a similar one on, boy, I don't know if it was Simon Says Stamps or Butterfly Reflections or My Favorite Things. One of those places. Very similar to this one and I paid $15 for it. Um, yeah, so you can't, can't beat them for their dyes. Boy, that's for sure. The other thing that I got this week from Asia were my new Copics. And I do a lot of cards for people and dogs. And by dogs, I mean I do 
cards for dogs that are sick or dying, um, who have been injured, who are in rescues, who might have been neglected or abused. And it's, I send them along with blankets that I, I sew. And it's part of a Facebook group called Fur Angel Blessing Blanketeers. But I like to make cards for the dogs that are personalized looking like the dogs. Uh, and so this is, these Copics are fantastic. Well worth the money. I can never stress that enough. So worth it. And I can't remember exactly what I paid for these. I think about $40, probably $36. But there's 10 in here and they're just, they're gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Oh, actually there's 12. I'm sorry. There's 12 in there. Um, they'll last a really long time. The other thing that I really like about these, besides coming in a really nice sturdy container, is if you look, there's two points to them. You can refill these also. And they also come with the number on them of what color they are. And I also have a Copic hex chart with colors so that you can look at those colors and see which colors are closer to the color that you need or if they'll match or blend well with the other colors. If you're looking for markers that blend well, oh, Copics are the best. I have a lot of Prisma colors, still like these the best. So that was another thing that I that I got in the mail. Like I said, I, I the shipping was free on it, which was good. Uh, shipping was, because I'm a Prime member, which more than pays for itself for what I get. And the other place that I got a decent sized order from this week was Simon Says Stamps. Simon Says Stamps has a great selection and great customer service. I, I really appreciate all the work that they do and um, how quick they are. And efficient and um, just really good customer service. But these these ink pads this week, I enjoy using the small ink pads. I the larger ones I find too cumbersome for some of the small detailing work. So I really think I get a a lot more bang for my buck by using these small ones. Um, now, the colors here were Melon, Hollyhock, Spring Rain, and Wisteria. And these are the hybrid inks that work really well with the Copics. They um, they don't run. They keep the, the everything uh, from mushing together is the best way I could put it. <laughs> My technical term, mushing together. So, Spring Flowers is the name of this. And, um, yeah, don't eat it, obviously, because... That would probably make you really sick. I don't know why they put that stuff on these. You must think we're all pretty stupid. But anyway, don't eat the don't eat the ink. There's a little little uh, hint for you, helpful hint from from Rue today. There was something else in the order that didn't get here, and so they sent me these little stickers as a thank you for being patient, I guess, and a little apology note, and that they'll send it to. Me at no extra cost when they get it. Besides that, I also got these nice little stickers. I thought these were really cute to put on envelopes for the dogs. Um, you know, I love my dog, canine, squirrel, cone of shame. That would be a really good one. Wish, wish I could get a whole thing of those. Um, so that will be nice. And talking about their, their customer service at, at Simon Says Stamps, this is the other thing. When you order from there... After you get an order or two, you'll, you'll get a card like this. When you get a card like this, you'll find that there is a code on there. You could take money off. Uh, I had this one before, and I did use a $5 harvest off on my last order. And that actually paid almost for all the shipping. The shipping was $6.99, and this was 5 So I paid $1.99 shipping on an order. So that's not bad at all. The other time... I got a free gift, and it was a candelabra die, and that was pretty cute, too. So make sure you look for the cards if you order from Simon, Simon Says Stamps. I ordered this Boston Terrier stamp. Now, we have a Boston Terrier, and her name is Miss Lulu. Uh, a lot of people know Miss Lulu, and she's on Facebook quite a bit. She is... Uh, 
a snuffling, snorting, passing wind little dog that we all just absolutely adore. So anything that has a Boston Terrier on it, I usually buy. I found this one. I thought it would be so cute. Look at Happy Holidays and the, the little snowflakes. So what I'll do with this is I'll, I'll make different cards up, but Boston Terriers come in different colors, so it's nice. I can personalize it. And I also, this was $3.99, which I thought was great because um, these Avery L stamps that you can get pretty much anywhere, but I usually get them from Simon Says. They, uh, they stamp really crisply and they clean up. I, I really like them. Anyway, I did get this, uh, this die that goes with it. I like to cut the stamps out for extra dimension on my cards and put them on with some foam strips. Just looks cuter, I think. I got some other stamps, and these were all to new. I put in an order this week to all to new. They came out with a lot of new stamps. Um, I just saw these when I was on Simon Says and picked them up, but I actually went to the all to new site and uh, put in a nice order for stamps. So my next video will probably be when those come in. Those are all the brand new stamps that came out, and I think I think I got about six packs, different ones. So. I like the layered stamps. They turn out very nice. Um, and I like all these sentiments. So I make a lot of cards for my husband as little surprises for him. You know, put in his lunch or put on his dresser, that sort of thing for him to find. And, and he loves it. So I'll get a lot of use out of that. And I also, and I had this open, so it looks a little goofy. It's my, uh, alt I got this one from... Simon says also, but it's Tim. You can't see it. It's Tim Holt and it's ephemera and uh, Oh, well, there's a lot of pieces in there. I don't know if you can see there's a lot in there and um, I got this it's the expedition. I'm gonna make something for my husband's boss. He He likes to fly. He has a little plane he flies and he enjoys anything nostalgic with planes on it so I got this and I also ordered this Atlas paper set. Now this is not the paper that you get that is double sided. This is single sided which is fine. I don't mind, you know, sometimes I kind of like that because if it's double sided then I become conflicted about which side I should use. Uh, this way it takes that guesswork out of it. But this is nice. It's got nice little more masculine design which is sometimes hard to find. Um, fly, see, all that sort of stuff. And these are maps. They're kind of hard to see. Um, I really like this one for them with the planes going around. And this one's all all planes. So that'll be nice. The, other, the last thing I got from Simon says stamps. Uh, boy, I've heard good and bad things about these. It's the Nuvo Crystal Drops. I won't have time to use these until this weekend. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. That's an adorable bottle. That's really good marketing. <laughs> That's great. Um, they come in a lot of different colors. I tried the crystal drops first. I only got one bottle till I see if I like them. I, I buy enamel dots right now, and they're pretty pricey. They're pretty dear. Uh, these are actually, if this works out and these harden for me, they'll turn out well. Right now, today, it's an unusually warm day in Pennsylvania. It's um, October 18th, and I think it's like 80 degrees out, which is pretty unheard of. So, I think that I'm going to try them this weekend. It's going to be a little cooler, and I heard that people had a hard time with these getting solid. If it was humid or in a different kind of, you know, uh, I guess a wetter atmosphere, and it seems like it's pretty humid, too. So I think I'll, I'll wait besides not having the time, but also to have the right conditions to try these. If if they work out well, I, I'll do another video and let you know because, boy, that'll be yeah, a good savings. My other part of the haul video is this. I went to Marshall's. Marshall's I've always found to be hit and miss. Um, TJ Maxx and Marshall's are from the same company. They... I think it's household goods is the parent company. I'm not, don't quote me on that. But I had seen that somebody had gotten washi tape in one of the other haul videos. 
And I went out and I found that they had washi tape too, which was the same set that person had picked up. And I think it's really cute. So just, and, and before we know it, it's hard to believe, before we know it, Valentine's Day will be here. So um, put those to good use then. I know. And I, I kind of really, re I think what was a pretty good buy there. And I, as I said, I like to make cards and I found this Hemptique and I thought, huh, it was $1.99 for each one. So I'm looking at it, trying to think about what I'm doing. 205 feet. So that's a pretty good amount if you're making cards. You know, it's a lot of cards to, to use it on. I thought, well, I could also use it on some packages, other things like that. You just never know. $1.99. So I was hemming and hawing, and I have no idea why, at $1.99. For some reason, I, I got this bug in my head that it was probably too much money. So I pulled out my phone, and I looked on online. I googled it and looked around, and each one of these was running online anywhere from like $4 to $10 a piece. And I was like, $1.99? Guess what? We're going to get one of every color. So I got this color, which is the green. I actually got two of the green with Christmas coming up because I thought, ooh, yeah, you can't go wrong with green. And I got this with, uh, like, the orangish brick color, the yellow, the teal. And I got two kinds of purple, one with a darker blue in it and another purple that just has, like, a lavender. And I also picked up this one, which is and orange and pink and it'll be great for card making I'm, I'm really looking forward to producing some cards with it and I also got another one which I can't seem to place where I put it now and that was a red and white twine and it by the same company now that one had 400 feet and these have 205 but that's still a really good deal that's a lot of twine so I think I'm pretty much set with twine for a while. Because um, I make cards for fun, not for a living. So I think I'm good with that. The other thing that I got when I was there, which at first I thought was probably not a really good deal, but I also said, <laughs> people were probably wondering, why is this woman standing in Marshalls with her phone looking at things? But the other thing that I got, which was, I thought, a pretty good deal, I needed these. I needed these dot runners. I used these like crazy. And this um, removable tape is the same thing as a dot runner. And I got dot glue runner. These ran $1.25 a piece. And I hemmed and hawed a little bit. And I really needed them. I had actually gone ahead and I had ordered these Tombows. I had ordered these. A few days before but they still weren't here like I said it's hard for for me to find things around here so I thought well you know what dollar 25 I know that's less than what they are at Michaels like when you go to that dollar 50 bin they have them in there and they have far less adhesive in them so if you take this and you look at how much adhesive is in there next to the Tombow and the Tombow is probably ran me what two dollars each or more um, it looks like there's the same the same amount of uh, adhesive because, or maybe there's even a little more. I don't know. It didn't have um, a length on it, so I, I was pretty excited. I've used it already, and it works just as good as the Tombow did. So I I I'm, won't give up my Tombow. I do really like them, but I thought that was a really good buy. So that was that was all I was able to get there at Marshalls. But that was good enough. And then I had the Dollar Tree, which is right next to our Marshalls, which <laughs> is great for me. And when I went to the Dollar Tree, they also had <laughs> hemp twine. Well, I guess it's not hemp, but they had Baker's twine. So I picked up Baker's twine from there. And I got three. And the reason I got them was because they're different colors than the other colors were. And, of course, I couldn't just get one. I had to get one of each color. Um, now, these were a dollar a piece. And these were a dollar ninety-nine. But on here, you get 205 feet. 
and on here you get 32.8 so 33 feet but I'm not sure if that means that there's 33 feet on each one no, I don't think that's right there's probably only 10 foot on each one of those anyway this was still a better deal but these were different colors so I picked those up too I was pretty happy with those I like the little size of them they'll be easy to store and with Christmas coming I got some of this nice glitter uh, tape I guess it is and <laughs> It says on here, and I hope this is not false advertising, that the glitter won't flake off. Tear by hand. So there's two rolls in here, so it's uh, 300 inches. And that looks pretty. They'll be nice on the edges of cards or just as uh, embellishments. And, of course, sequins. You cannot go to the Dollar Tree without getting sequins. So I got the blue sequins with green in them, and I figured I could use those for winter scenes. And I make a lot of shaker cards for in shaker cards. And these pretty fall colors. I'm still making some fall cards and Thanksgiving cards. And then some purples and pinks, because I just like purples and pinks. And at a dollar a piece, you can't go wrong. Really? Awesome. Then oh, I found these little stickers. And they're hard plastic. Look at the, oh my gosh, are they not cute? I think they're the cute. I don't know why. These appealed to me so much. And I, I, was, I like blue anyway, but the, these were just cute. And I picked one up. And, okay, there's 36 in there. And then I just had to get another one. Had to. Just couldn't resist getting two. And it was $2. But I have a lot of snowflakes now, but that's okay. And then speaking of snowflakes, I also got these snowflakes there and I like these at the Dollar Tree I, before I had gotten um let's see what were they they were pumpkins I had gotten pumpkins and I like the pumpkins used some of those already for cards and these are cute they stick really nicely and I also got these dog stickers with the googly eyes and I just think this is the cutest thing I don't know if you can see it. It says Dingo Star. Dingo Star. I just thought that was cute. And I'll use those on the outsides of envelopes too. I like to dress up the things I send to the dogs. The poor little dogs that are sick. The other things that I got were... I got beads. And of course I got two because I can't just get one. I always seem to have to get two. I don't know why. <laughs> it's like a little hiccup in my brain. I'll pick one up and I'm like, ooh... This is good. And then I'm like, oh, I need another one. So I pick another one up too. So I'll use these in shaker cards and uh, probably on cards for embellishments at some point. There's a lot of a lot of them in here. It's a good deal. Glass beads. Oh, those will last quite a bit. I also picked up for dimensioned cards. I picked this up. These are the... Uh, foam squares that are already cut four by six inch and you can stick this on your card to add dimension um, just be careful though if it's something that you want to be uh, really stick out you're probably gonna have to use two sheets because as you can see it's pretty thin uh, but it's it's enough to to add to it I think I I don't like cutting foam I don't like the way it sounds or feels so I, I was pretty happy to find these in the pre-cut. The other thing that I got, that this was probably one of the things that made me, just tickled me the most today, were these stickers. And these were also from the Dollar Tree. They're, they're, they look like they're fabric, um, but they're like a plastic, plastic coated. And when I picked them up, at first I, I was like, wait a minute, are these fabric or are these not? But they're not. They still, but they look like they are, and they're really cute. And I haven't seen this on anybody else's haul videos, although perhaps they um, have been. The The Dollar Tree that I was at seemed to have a, a big mixture of odds and odds and ends from, uh, let's see, in the summer, along with all the way up to Christmas things. It's a pretty big dollar, or dollar Tree, so... I like these nice little banners, and they'll be nice to put down the side or across a, a card, or scrapbooking. 
The same thing here. I love that little owl. Look at that owl. Isn't he cute? And the feathers. Um, now, I've been a quandary thinking about what these are. And I don't know if it's a moth, if it's feathers. I think it's supposed to be feathers, like they're crisscrossing that way. And they also look slightly like those uh, little uh, maple helicopters from the maple seeds that you see this time of year coming off. The other thing too was I got these and oh look nice cute little corners centers and borders and this one's adorable with the hearts I love this I got all the little hearts and it's so intricate just so pretty and I and I like that uh, these will add a lot to um to cards and I, I don't know if I'll be able to wait until Valentine's Day to use this one or not? Probably not. I'll probably use it ahead of time. I wish I was able to get more of these. They only had one of each one. And so I did get one of each one. But oh, they were nice. Well, thank you for cu for coming and t tuning into this video. This is my first haul video, like I said. And hopefully in the future I'll be able to do some more along with some crafting videos for making crafts as far as cards go, blankets, things of that nature. Thank you again. Have a great day.